another Pac-Man. I kind of like what they did with Pac-Man, because, like, in the, in the last game, Pac-Man was not as good. So, like, Pac-Man was such a wild card of a character, where it's just, you look at them saying, God, these clips are insane, but the character doesn't do good in Bracken. And then you have some random people who do really good with Pac-Man of all people. Um, but, uh, but in this game, I mean, Pac-Man definitely just stronger overall. Oh. It's so weird to me that Peach's forward tilt is literally a kick to the kick up. Like, I'm not used to forward tilt sending vertical. Hmm. A lot of back airs coming in. I feel like this matchup is annoying for Peach. Jab reset. Doesn't get the up air. Okay, now gets it. Forward air coming in. Does a lot of damage. Stitch. That was the stitch. That was the eyes. Up. I'll say this. Last time we saw Hehe was a while back, and their peach has gotten much cleaner. Like, just looking at their movement and, and kind of their options. Their, their wavelength cancels. The full cancels. Yep, they're doing some pretty solid stuff here. Just casually going over that hydrant. We got back with a turn up. Oh dear. Oh dear indeed. And he's dead. Yeah, finally a stock has taken nearly two minutes in. Yeah, a lot of back and forth there. It, it's more of. This kind of reminds me of a middle school dance. Okay. And the reason is that they're, they're, they're moving around each other a lot. They're certainly doing a lot of things, but let me tell you, they're not exactly meeting in the middle much. good because Peach, quite frankly, needs to get in in order to do anything. If Hei Hei doesn't get in at all, then it's just it's just prolonging the match for however it goes. Indeed, yeah. So, of course, being able to get in doesn't necessarily mean you're doing so safely, so take that as you will. Right. Hacker's mm. coming in. Oh my god. Good hit there, honestly. Got the turn up. Got the forward air. Mm. Okay. Hey, hey, for when you hopefully watch this back, I understand that Pac-Man isn't exactly, like, the easiest character to edge guard, but, like, you have float, go off stage, hang by ledge, throw out a nair when they get up there, like, yeah. like, there's no reason that you should only be throwing turnips. I would argue at such a high percent that he's at, I think I understand why he doesn't want to go off stage. <laughs> yeah, but it's it's more than it's more of the fact that it's happening every time Pac-Man goes off stage, not just when Peach is at high percent. Here we are right now, 135, getting some clean hits. Not gonna get the downer though. Whoa. Honestly, good use of the neutral B to stall. That was very mm. helpful. That just kind of was convenient. Hey, hey, really needs to get some kind of combo start because these little shit hits are doing are doing an okay job. But the problem is, is that with with max rage Peach, you should be able to kill. Like, even from low percent, you should be able to get those combos and kill. So a little bit of grinding in terms of uh, in terms of just those kind of Peach strings that you can get with the floating. Working on that might be good. Right, right now, the percents are climbing back and forth. And... Oh! Doesn't care about the hydrant. Dash that gonna get punished. The percents are pretty much even now. Let's 
So in the beginning of this match, we did not see nearly as many turnups, and now that he's been using those as a way to kind of counter Pac-Man's own projectile play. Got the dot eyes. Got the Saturn. Mr. Saturn. Oh, man. Oh, man. Pac-Man coming in clutch with his own trampoline. Oh, man. That almost was a red, a red uh, trampoline, which would have killed him. Back here coming in, and that is enough. Uh, that last, like, couple exchanges there were pretty, pretty nerve-wracking. Hey, hey, gonna take game one here. Nice. Very good. When I like move my head, my mic just goes all. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean you move your head? No one. It like moves. Yes. Mm. All right. So. What would you do if you were either player in this situation? What are you banning? What are you thinking about going into the next game? I'll be honest, I don't play either uh. of these characters, so uh, <laughs> it's a That's good a question. That's a great question. <laughs> okay, um, fine. If you were playing against Peach, where would you ban? Or where would you not go, I should say? Um, also a good question. We're going FT though. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> I mean, we don't really play these characters or play against these characters, so it's kind of hard to I say. I don't know what's going on. See, that's the kind of aggression that you kind of need with Pac-Man. Pac-Man's got to be like, okay, if you're going to come close to me, I'm going to do the combos to you that you should be doing to me before you can do it. Now it's very interesting to see a Pac-Man be on the aggressive side of their Hydrant when it's out. Usually I see a Hydrant go down, they go to the other side, they charge their fruit for whatever they're going to end up doing. Oh my god. Out of the hell of a lot of damage. A lot of damage. So, one thing Hay is not doing yet, and this is one of the earliest things I remember uh, hearing out of going against Pac-Man is, you want to mix up how you destroy that Hydrant. Sometimes, oh my god! Oh, oh, oh no! Oh my god! That you was. You also want to get rid of hydrant. You want to, you want to avoid hydrant. But um, but yeah, the trick is just mix up how you hit it and how you destroy it. Because sometimes you might want to go for an up tilt. Sometimes you may want to go for a turn up hit. Like it, the idea is that you change how the tra trajectory of hydrant is going at Pac-Man. Because Pac-Man knows how to hit you with his hydrant. He may not know how you can hit it back. They're, they're, they're dancing around each other a lot, which which normally can be very good, you know, in order to make sure to, like, try and bait your opponent out, but they're not really doing anything with the baits that they get. They're sort of just throwing out a hitbox occasionally and hoping it'll hit even if they're not in the vicinity of their opponent. Yeah, smash very which strong. is part of why they're doing it. Also, uh, Game Boy is throwing Hydra from, like, the exact same spot uh -oh. every time. Uh-oh. At least the exact same, oh, like, God, Nintendo. Y height. Okay. Everything's okay. Everything's okay. Oh, and that is That's it. gonna kill. That you can it. almost predict where, when uh, Game Boy is going to throw Hydra based on where Game Boy is in the air. That kind of predictability is a little bit of a problem. Oh no, he air dodged off stage. He's okay though. There's only a neutral air dodge. That were directional. Each one can't recover vertically. Oh, 
die. He just though. to do something to get the kill. Because you're just a max rage pack man, which like normally isn't scary, but when you're not getting the kill, it's just a backup. There, it there is. you go. So did you know that Pac-Man's Hydrant scales with rage if he hits it? That makes sense. Oh. So when it becomes a projectile, you mean? Yeah, it's it's. Yeah, that would make sense. Back throw, Hydrant, hit the Hydrant, oh. throw fruit? No, okay. Well, hey, he's still in this, but he's got a whole nother stock to figure out here. It's gonna be a, gonna be a hard kill to climb here, but it's not over. He's putting him down. Yeah, it's a hard hill to climb, but that hill starts with, with getting combos. That's kind of the issue, is that um, Hey Hey is is playing a combo character as a chip damage character, and that's not really how Peach works best. Yeah. It's hard to say, though, because I other than like the little times you see Bling Bling, I have not seen too much Peach play on that. That is going to do it there, off the top. Game Boy, put more on the board here. <laughs> All right, we got 1-1 one, one here on loser side. Good stuff. Looking at our bracket here, we got 1-1 one, one, Mike Cheeto and Anani though. We got Quali and Blue, uh, Ice Blue duking it out. Um, we got Cortex and Utopia, which are 1-1 one, one on Losers Round 1. So, a little wild of a, of a bracket on that side. And then, Blankles and Shignanigans are 1-1 one, one as well. Winner, that's fighting Bad Boy Ray. On winner side, we got Syrup and Skylar have made it into winner semis. We got Sho, who took a DQ win over OG Mustaine. On the other side, waiting for the winner of Dark Puma and Al's Revenge. So... We'll see what the rest of this bracket looks like. But we got, we got a lot of stuff all over the place. Here we go. Game three. So let's see if the stage pick works out in his favor. And we'll kind of see what happens. I would opt mm. not a stage with walls. Pac-Man does have a wall jump, which just means he can stall more. But all right, going to Smashville. Let's see how this works. Go! I think having the smaller stage on the platform is certainly going to help uh, Hey Hey because um, Game Boy realistically throws the Hydrant from generally the same area, at least vertically, all the time. So if it lands on the platform, that gives um, Hey Hey something to work with. And if it doesn't land on the platform, the, the platform allows Hey Hey to have something there to avoid it. Um, oh, not to man. mention, it's just let's just see if Hey Hey can, can get. Game Boy off stage and then do something with it because I feel like that's the thing that's preventing Hey Hey from real success is the edge guarding here because uh, Peach can do a really good job of getting off stage but once once you're off stage you gotta do something. Yeah, agreed. Well, up up smash coming in, turn up coming in, and Hey Hey managed to pull these percents back when he was not looking too healthy before literally taking zero to ninety. Pretty much in the first uh, 20 seconds of the game. Yeah, absolutely. I think part of what we're seeing here also is that Game Boy looks confident. I don't know how else to put it. Just they're wow. playing significantly more confidently. They're a lot more confident in throwing out smash attacks like that. They're a lot more confident in what they do with the hydrant. They're a lot more confident in charging fruit longer. They're no longer just going for cherries. Um, it's it's you you can see that win in game two did a lot for game boy spirit and we kind of have to see hey, hey fight against that yeah it's a real big momentum shift that's gonna side b not gonna do it oh it just misses with the turn up we're kind of finding ourselves in a, in a similar position to where we were before where uh game boy is at a high percent right now and hey hey's on their second stock and we're just waiting to see if if Hey Hey can actually take this stock, which is at 150 right now. Mm. There we go, back here. There it is. So, I mean, Hey Hey only taking 29% here, so anything can happen on this match for sure. Absolutely, this is significantly closer than the previous game was. Yeah, agreed. Cool. Use of the float to completely avoid getting grabbed and some good stuff. There's a stitch there and doesn't. I think 
this matchup is also just 100% about resource management. But, like, in a different way than some other characters. Like, when you have Hero, like we had before, the resource management is how much mana do I have left, and what can I do with it? Whereas in this, it's, okay, what resource am I even working with? Like, do I have Hydrant? Is Hydrant out there? Am I? It, did I charge my neutral B? Which turnip do I have? How much damage does that turnip do? How can I use it for a combo? There is a lot that needs to be going on mentally here, and I'm worried that... I'm, and I'm seeing that I, I'm I'm assuming this more out of hey hey than I am in uh, Game Boy a little bit. Just that thought isn't going in, and I think that's preventing a lot of really cool strings from occurring. Mm. Here we are, though. Sans both at 115. Super on right now. That border is gonna take it. So, well, I mean, whatever we think here, they have both these players almost returning the favor. This is absolutely. We can we can think whatever we want right now, but the fact is is that for the moment, oh, hey hey has a lead. And uh, Game Boy is in their tournament stuff. Got that force match lasts a little bit longer than I expected. Um, getting hit by the late hit both times. Right now, though, hey, hey, at 150, just kind of chilling. Well, there it is. <laughs> he was already in the air, and yeah, that was that was pretty much it. <laughs> yeah, great use of key there. Mm. Hey, he's gotta get, stop getting hit by these forward smash hydrants. Yeah, I mean, he, he gets hit by a lot of back end combos, which is doing tons of damage to oh, That oh. was funny. The last hit of downer hit. There we go, though. 71 74. Yeah, this forward is air. even right now. Hey, hey, here's your chance to edge guard. Go off stage and do something. Okay, at least a down smash at the ledge is a little bit better than throwing it to Yeah, but right I don't there, know if that he could He could have probably gone a little bit deeper, maybe like down aired. Dash attack, come on, chase. Or smash coming in, not gonna get it though. Shield. Gets grabbed. Gets Wi Fi get grabbed. Through. Good save for jump. Oh, that was... he had to get out of the way of that. Oh, oh he's just no. missing. Oh, that is no. kill, isn't it? Yep. Smash. Yep. That is gonna take it there, and... Game Boy, 2-1. There you are. And in a move that surprises everyone... Game Boy won. The one that nobody voted for. Congratulations. There's our you prediction. Don't yourselves. There's your prediction.